Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys are healthy and well and safe at home with your loved ones. So for today's video, it's gonna be a little different because it's gonna be a sit-down video where I am going to share with you guys the title of the video, how I got here in Canada. So if you guys wanna know more about my story, please keep on watching. I have been here in Ontario, Canada specifically for five years now. And as a matter of fact, we are actually on our second state of emergency because of the global pandemic. And I hope you guys are just staying at home right now and just go out whenever um, it's necessary or essential. Going back to our topic, I got here through a spousal sponsorship, of course, with my husband, Mac. And iba po kasi yung um, application namin pag, sa pagpunta dito. Yung kanila is a family sponsorship together with his younger brother and his dad. And ako naman po is under spousal sponsorship. Sila andito na 2012 pa. Kinasal kami ng July 2014. October 19, 2014, nakabalik na po siya dito. And between October to December, um, hindi pa po kami nag-start, nag-apply ng application namin. But, um, we ask for his friend's help, yung mga kaibigan niya po dito sa Canada. Nagtanong-tanong kami, of course, kung ano yung mga ginawa nilang um, steps or um, paano yung application nila, paano yung pagkuha nila sa mga asawa nila. So, nag-ask kami sa mga kaibigan niya. And aside from that, um, we did our own research, of course. Siyempre, dapat knowledgeable ka rin sa... Uh, apply and mo. So we did our own research between October to December. And then, disclaimer lang pala guys, hindi po kami dumaan ng kahit anong agency or lawyer sa pag-apply ng aming application pagpunta, sa pagpunta ko dito. But if that's your choice, you may do so. Pero kami po, hindi po namin ginawa yun. Kami lang po talaga yung naglakad ng mga papers namin. So, pinatapos namin yung holiday and as early as the first week of January, um, nag-submit po ng paper si Mac kung eligible po ba siyang mag-sponsor ng kanyang asawa. And then, I've just searched through their website. Ilalagay ko po sa description down below or just in here. <laughs> Ayan. Ilalagay ko siya dyan. Yung um, website ng Canadian Immigration. So, lahat po ng mga questions nyo or lahat ng mga bagong requirements through any other um, sponsorship, makikita niyo po siya dyan. You are eligible to um, sponsor a spouse if you are, of course, 18 years old and above. You are married and you are a Canadian resident or a permanent resident card holder. Ibig sabihin po nun, yung permanent resident card holder, yun yung hawak ni Mac as of the moment. So, as early as January, of first week, um, yun na po yung ginawa niya. And then, kuha po namin yung agad yung sagot nila just like few days after. January 28, 2015 po, um, pina-medical na ako. So, nagpa-medical ako sa St. Luke's. I think they are affiliated through the Canadian Immigration, St. Luke's and Makati Med. But I am not really sure or aware of any other hospitals if they are affiliated um, with the Canadian Immigration. So, pumunta po ako ng St. Luke's and nagpa-medical po ako. And just a heads up guys, yung medical nila as in thorough medical examination from head to toe naked. Yes, but naked. And I will stop there. And after noon, saan na ba tayo? In lahat ng mga uh, kailangan na application, lahat ng mga kailangan ng mga questionnaire, uh, pinaprint ko kasi kailangan nila ng soft copy noon. So lahat ng yun, sinan sa akin ni Mac. And then, pinaprint ko, sinagutan ko po lahat. Yung mga questions na yun, I can still remember. How did your relationship start? Parang lahat ng mga special occasions, kailangan patunayan mo or kailangan masatisfy mo yung immigration that you guys are really um, girlfriend and boyfriend before you guys got married. Or like, baka ay compare nila dun sa mga sagot niya dun sa sagot ko. And then, I still remember, February 14 of 2015, sinan ko sa kanya yung mga questionnaires na yun kasi siya yung magsisend sa Canadian Immigration. I still remember the date kasi yung mga co-workers ko before, single sila. So, they've actually volunteered to help me send those papers sa LBC. By March, nakareceive si Mac ng email na pinapabayad na sa kanya yung visa ko. 
And then by that time, nakita ko pa po yung receipt. Where is it? It was 490 Canadian dollars yung binayad niya just the visa alone. And that was March. And then April, May, wala po kaming narinig sa immigration ng Canada. By June of June, sorry, meron na akong ano, list dito lahat ng mga nangyara kasi hindi ko na po talaga siya ma 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 remember, matandaan kasi it has been five years already, but I'm trying so hard to check all the dates, to check my emails, to check my inbox. Para sabi ko po yung real time nung ano application ko dito. Nasinulat ko siya dito eh. Ayan. Yun. June 24, pinapasa na po sa akin yung passport ko. So that was Jul um, June 24, 2015. Pinasend na po sa akin ng Canadian Embassy sa Pilipinas yung passport ko. Then, July, August, September, October, November, December, six months po. Six months, um, wala po kami narinig ulit. Walang text, walang email, wala. No, nothing. That was six months. So, parang torture kasi hindi mo alam um, may problema ba, may hindi ba ako nasend, may nakalimutan ba ako kasi it's been six months, we haven't heard anything from them. So, January 15, 2015 came. And that day po, pinabili ako ng ulam ng kuya ko, lutong ulam. Kasama ko yung pinsan ko, nag-bike kami. So, pagbalik ko ng bahay, sabi niya, sinalubong niya kami sa gate, sabi niya, may tumawag yung Canadian Embassy. Sabi niya ganun sa akin. Tapos sabi ko, what? Ano sabi mo sa kanila? Tapos sabi niya, tawag sila in half an hour. Kasi sabi ko, umulis ka ng bahay, hindi mo dinala yung phone mo. Tapos ako naman, dapat mag-lunch na kami nun kasi nga may ulam na kami. Kaso lang, hindi po talaga ako makakain. I don't know what to feel anxious or excited. Anxious because if I get denied or excited because my visa might be ready. I don't know. And lo and behold, tumawag sila, sabi niyang ganun. Um, this is Canadian Embassy in Manila. Your visa is all ready. Sabi niyang ganun. Tapos parang ano... Um, teary eye, yan, nanambot na ako kasi, um, after half a year, kasi six months kasi yung talagang hinintay ko bago siya dumating. Do you ever feel that you finally get what you want? Yung parang ganun, you've been waiting for it, and then it finally came true. That's, um, what I felt that day, and then I remember that's Friday, and then they told me that they are closed weekends, so, I need to be there on Monday to get my visa. Yung um, visa ko um, was ready January 15, 2014 until February 3, 2015. So like between those days, you have to go in Canada. Kasi yun lang yung allotted time ng visa mo. Monday ng gabi, nagpa-schedule na ako. Or ng hapon, nagpa-schedule na po ako ng PIDOS ko. That is the pre-departure orientation. Na bago ka pumunta ng ibang bansa, kailangan kang mag-attend. So, I only have 9 days kasi after 25th, may trabaho na sila. So, hindi na nila ako masusundo. So, between 9 days, kailangan kong magpack, kailangan kong mag-attend ng PIDOS ko, and then kailangan kong masettle lahat ng mga unfinished business ko. But, that was all so smooth to me. Um, I think I just got it in the right time in God's perfect time and I am really been grateful so that was quick after nung call and, ah but ako na iyak parang bumalik lahat ngayon but if you apply po kayo or mag apply or like you guys are in the process of it, make sure you check your email, you check your phone every single time because you don't really know when are they gonna call you and are they gonna ask you for more requirements. Kaya, ayun. And January 25, 2015, I got here in Canada and I have been here for the last five years. We were moving to the Philippines in 2018 and there's no place like home, but I'm really grateful to call Canada my second home. I hope I give you guys an idea on how to migrate here in Canada. I am not really sure of any other sponsorship, but you guys can go through their website. And if you guys have any questions, please drop them through the comment section down below. And I'll try to 
answer them as much as I can. I'll try to help you guys. Please do your own research as well because most of the time that's what we did. It's very helpful if you guys um, help yourself as well through the website itself. You guys can check it out and yeah. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you guys will get notified once we upload a video. And I think that's it. I hope you guys like this video and if you did, don't forget to put the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and see you on the next one. Bye! Stay safe!